up, everybody? It's me, your host, LJP, back with another episode of Free for Members podcast. This is number six, here with your hosts, me, LJP, as well as Dylan. Hey, what's up? And Ryan. Welcome back, me. And we're here to talk about this week's updates in RuneScape. Let's talk about it. Okay, starting off with the forums. <clears throat> they updated the forums. They're shiny now. They are shinier. What does that mean? It basically means that it's new. They updated Different. it. There's a new welcome Graphically? Forum. What? Graphically? Is that what you mean by shinier? Or are they just using that as like a thing of speech? It's. I don't know if it's graphically updated, but you can... Did you not look into it? Oh. You, you, they have a general gist of what you can look at. There's new categories, locations, and I'm assuming they added a bunch of new mods, possibly. So basically, they changed it around a little bit, and now every single RuneScape player who actually used the forum is going to complain for a month, and then they'll finally stop. I don't know. They just want the forums to be more active. Personally, if I was really into the forums, I'd probably just post on um, fan website forums. Uh, Dylan, do you remember being an Americans clan? Or were you ever yeah. an American? Yeah. Like, you had a post in that forum at least once a month to stay a member. Yeah, and I hated that. So, I'm not, like, a forum person. Yeah, like, no. basically you had to say, like, keep me on the clan. And then mm -hmm. they'd be like, hey. It was, was kind of nice to promote um, <clears throat> player activity, but it was also annoying. The only thing that I've ever used the forum for is when you're trying to buy an item that not many people sell, or when you're looking for, like, a group to go do something. Yeah, I used to use the forums back when 07 Scapers came out, but then I found out about the Zybez trade and sell, uh, buy and sell feature. So that made it so much easier. That was so awesome. I don't know. I'm, tr I'm trying to look at the forums right now, and I guess I don't look at them enough. It doesn't seem too different. <laughs> yeah. Do well, we really use them that much? <clears throat> there weren't many quality updates this week besides the new quest, which we'll get to. Um, um, as I don't always, know if that's quality, though. As always, Jagex holds their uh, podcasts, so we, we speak about it every week. If you want to check it out, go ahead. Um, they're located on Podbean. To it? Well, next, week, next week, I think you should listen to it, Luke, because we mention it every week and we don't know. I'm never going to listen to anything about it. Honestly, it's stupid. Uh, quick update to the forums. They are not actually shiny. A little disappointed. Um, also, you can listen to the RuneScape podcasts on iTunes, as well as any other podcast besides ours. Who, why would you listen to something on iTunes when you can listen to it on YouTube? Well, it's free on iTunes. It's free on YouTube. You have to download it on Well, it. yeah, YouTube, you have to download iTunes if you want to put it on your iPod. It's just it's one step instead of two. I guess. Um, all right, divination skill updates. Uh, not really a skill update, more of an animation. Uh, yes, that is true. You can now purchase new animations for this skill as well as any other skill that you usually could. Um, they have one that promotes agility. Not actually agility, but you seem like you're a football player, or as the Americans call it, um, ball feet, uh, what's it? Ball Soccer. Ball Soccer. <laughs> ball, uh, <laughs> the ball's <laughs> your feet. Uh, Soccer. So wait, this update, you don't get, like, crazy agility experience for doing nothing? Gone. I never even got those boots. Those boots were actually kind of rare. It's just that if you did buy this enough spins, uh, I mean, treasure keys, it was kind of annoying, but I feel like most players don't do that. No. Um, or you can change your power stance, as they call it, the powerful divination. Uh, where you basically take a more aggressive stance when you're siphoning from the the memories from this uh, the springs. It's 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 kind of stupid. Um, it the, you could probably barely even notice the change if you were in game. I've only seen the 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 demo animation, so I don't know what it actually looks like, but it doesn't seem too different to me. You can actually look at the animations in game. Yeah, I know. I've seen it, but I haven't seen it, like, in the community. In-game. Uh, yeah. So, um, with that being said, 
let's talk about the new rune coin controversy. It seems every week there's a new controversy. This week being earning rune coins from downloading uh, third party software. Uh, what? Earning really? rune coins, downloading third party software, such or viewing ads. I remember you used to be able to get a free spin by viewing ads. Now they're implementing this into the rune coin aspect. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Bad updates. Um, so Watch just... our ads or buy these things that generate money and we'll give you... So what is it? It's like a rebate? You get money back? Here. Uh, no, I'll, I'll send you. I mean, some of the things you have to do like an ad. Some of them you have to buy something. Like this one is you have to... If you join like the Barbie website, you earn rune coins. If you sign up for $2 to this website... Me? Yeah. This like is you, begging it's like for those, money. those things where you sign up for things, yeah. and if you confirm that you're a part of that website, you get these rune coins. It's just like you know, this is stupid sponsorship. Like this one's kind of you. It's two pounds to join this one website, and you get um you get like a hundred dollars worth of rune coins. Hundred dollars. Well, maybe no, not a hundred. Uh, Didn't you just say pounds? Now we're going. Now we got to convert it from dollars to pounds. No, it's it's like fifty dollars worth of rune coins, but still, like that's a lot. Just so you sign up for a third party website, it's, they probably have some binding contract where you have to download their virus, and then they can take your credit card number. So that, that's, that's a big <laughs> I don't know if controversy. Jagged. I like how the first one is just join the Barbie Style Club. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the people it's playing RuneScape are like, "Whoa, let me jump on that." It's probably the easiest to do. It's like you just sign up, give your name, and then accept some Dude, spam emails. Like scroll through them. I know one of them is Victoria's Secret. It's just like oh, I, I see just... videos. There's three. So if you if you watch videos, surveys. Wow, this is yeah. So at its finest. It's better than paying your own money, but there's been a lot of malware linked to these websites. So. Jagex has been trying to hide that aspect, and that's why they're making all these transactions private. So has there really... I would say wait, wait until this is either 100% or just never do it. Just don't promote the shenanigans that Jagex is performing. It's just stupid. Bad Jagex. You need to, like, stop him. All right, new quest. Yeah, that, Biggest that's, update that's, that's this week. Really Biggest update came out today, Fate of the Gods. Um... Yeah, I logged in about five minutes after this came out, and there were like no, there was nobody on, and I realized, oh, there was probably an update. And apparently, the servers were down for a few hours while they were implementing this quest. So, really, yeah. I mean, I know how big of a quest it is. It's, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Did you know they updated the uh, the home teleport or lodestone. If you, uh, apparently each location has its own, like, command key, so if you hit... Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's like, probably in the, that's in the patch notes. Keyboard trick. I just noticed that. Yeah. yeah. Um... So what is yeah. this? Ryan, you wanna, you wanna take this over? Well, what's this? The what? Fate of the Gods quest. You didn't hand me anything else. I mean... It's their new Grandmaster quest. Second one this month. So, no. Woo. Quest. A lot of lore, I think. I mean, you could, I guess you could say woo. I mean, how long? <coughs> it's, it's been a while since they've implemented Grandmaster quests, and now they have two I, in one month. No, they've been adding a lot. They've, yeah, they've added if a They've lot. only been adding Grandmaster and reason, Novice. That's it. I think the yeah. reason that, that they were so close to... No, no, no. I'm saying Grandmaster quests, not quest in general. Hasn't it been a while since? They had like three. I mean, no. Because I think the only reason they were so close together is because the first one got pushed off so much. They added one a couple months before the last one. It was uh, the dwarf quest. I don't know. The... Yeah. You a minute. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Um, uh, the birthright of the dwarves. Right, they've been adding... Um, a decent amount of quests. 
which I guess is good, but I don't really care. Uh, the, f the thing is about the quest cape is it's hard to keep once you get it. I like things that, like, when you achieve a goal, you know that you've achieved it, and and it'll stay like that. When, the, when you have to keep something up, it just makes something more of a hassle than an achievement, and it's not worth it to me. That's why I would never want to get the comp cape. There's just so many oh, updates so that long. that uh, that go into the, the comp cape that, like, it, when a new quest comes out, when a new set of tasks comes out, when a new song comes out, just, like, all this stuff, Every you have to keep you have to keep it up. Crazy. It's just not worth it to me. I mean, I wouldn't say it's so hard. It's more of just, like, annoying. It's the quest, especially with EOC, they're not, none of it's really hard anymore, as long as you have the levels. But, yeah. Wow, this quest is, like, huge, actually. I, yeah, I could see, like, this quest actually being a Grandmaster. Now, I haven't actually done it yet, but I plan on doing it sometime soon. I wanted what to, uh... I wanted to finish the Majorat memory, whatever it's called. Because well, apparently... This, we haven't even summed it up yet. It's basically, Zeros comes back, and uh, you are what? given, like, a pretty much history of him, like, from beginnings to what he is now. Yeah, it's a big lore it, quest. The idea yeah. behind him coming back was uh, they've done all the other gods. Like, they had Guthix die. Uh, they had Saradomen and Zamorak in the first world event. They had Armidal and, what's his, I don't know, Bandos <clears throat> in the other world event. So they're, like, trying to bring out every single god uh, for lore lovers, unlike me. Well, this one isn't going to be a... This one is weird because, like, that was, like, a worldwide thing that it was like, oh, okay, Guthix is dead and that's how it is now. Mm -hmm. This it's is apparently exactly. whether your like Zero's fate will be determined by how like what road you take in the quest. Yep. Yeah, they've been trying to implement more quests where the players' decisions have an impact on the rest of the quest line. I believe we talked about that last week. Yeah, it makes it it makes it more immersive. I feel like the thing that's kind of stinks with that though is like I remember, like, video games that you would do that, and then, like, you'd make, like, a separate save and, like, go the other way just to, like, see what it was about. Yeah, you can't, yeah, yeah, you can't do that with can't. this type of game. Like, unless you want to get an equally good uh, character. Yeah, that's the thing. In, in most <laughs> yeah. RPGs, you, your, your player has a set line that they can go through. In this, you can do whatever you want. You can be a ranger, a major, or a, or a meleeer. You can do skills. You can not do skills. Well, you can do everything. It's, you can do everything. It's, there's no limitation of what you can do yeah i mean i haven't like done the quest i haven't looked through it much i know they said they wanted like your actions actually have like an outcome that affects the future but from what i've seen with like the rewards and some of the trivia stuff it doesn't really say like it affects much on what you actually choose I, a lot of quests have something like that where you can like choose any of these options and like each one does something different but there's no, like, real different outcome to your character in the sense of XP or rewards or anything. Oh, so it's like taking a different path to the same goal. Yeah. Yeah. It, you, you get a relatively <clears throat> same outcome with just a slightly different twist on it. And since this is a Grandmaster quest, I don't see them doing much beyond it, so I don't see how... Like, your choices could really affect it that much. Like, in the last quest, I remember the last step of it was you had to choose this one guy's, like, fate. Like, who does he go with? Does he go with his father? Does he go with, like, a dragon or something? Or does he just... I don't, there was, like, a third option. Go with the Majorat. And, like, you could choose any of them. It doesn't affect your character in-game at all, but it, like, changes what he does. So, I don't know if it's something like that. It might be something that it really does, like, have a huge outcome on what you do. But I'd, I'd be surprised if they did something like that. All right, so, overall opinion? Uh, I'm excited for it. Kind of. Uh, wow. I'm never going to do this. I I don't I haven't done it yet. How can I give an opinion on something I haven't done? I haven't even read into it. I was just I'm the, I just I hate quests. So I think well, it's kind of cool just because like 
I don't know. I, I felt like Xeros was always like the mysterious god, and now you're like uncovering all the mystery. Yeah, it's very it's interesting if you like the lore, but I just do. I, I if I still played and and if I had the requirement, I wouldn't like I wouldn't go out of my way to get all these requirements, but I would I would be interested in it. Let's talk about the requirements real quick. Uh, this is another one of those quests where they have like a set requirement, but there aren't many in terms of quests. But then there are recommended quests that give you different rewards. Yeah, that seems to be the recurring pattern. And I don't know if you look through the uh, recommended quests, but to do them, you need to do tons and tons and tons of quests. Wow. Like, I if you don't have the quest cape, and you've done all these quests, I'd be surprised that you don't have the quest cape already. Yeah, you, there are just if so you've done these quests, there's only a few left that you have to do. I mean, it scales everything. Well, that's that's the purpose of Grandmaster. It doesn't mean it's necessarily hard. It just means that it's long and lower intensive. Yeah. I mean, that's I kind of noticed that uh, throughout last week, like when I was looking through the Grandmasters. None of them were really big quests like Logothic Siege, but they all did like sum up a certain plot line. Like yeah. there was the dwarf one, there was the uh, Tazar one, uh, there was the Pest Queen, the Void one. So they all like summed up their uh, respective plot lines, but I mean they don't really encompass the whole world. And when I think of like Grandmaster, I think like you know everything comes together for this one. I don't know. Yeah, that their their definition of um, Grandmaster seems to vary slightly, but I think we can all agree that besides uh, Nomad's Requiem. Um, these quests develop the lore of RuneScape by a landslide by a lot. There's yeah, just... Nomad's Requiem has nothing to do with any. Lore. I know that was that was solely based on the difficulty at the time. Yeah, like that was the second Grandmaster quest. Yeah, exactly. So they still didn't have a solid, clear cut. I mean, I I still feel like um, they're 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 very because um, the requirements for a lot of these quests aren't necessary they aren't 100 percent necessary they're just recommended so uh, only the past couple what's that one where you need to kill all the uh the dungeon the oh no the one with... yeah so that one could be sort of difficult that you one just need to i kill don't all the think ones from the god wars i don't think there are any recommended there are any necessary quests. yeah there aren't for the world wakes I, so... I it's under my quest uh book as um, that I don't that I have all the requirements, which I have only done about half the quests. So, yeah. I mean, some of them are kind of weird. Uh, some of them fit in a little bit better than others. But all right, let's move on. Um, I, the archer ring glitch. We didn't. Well, we didn't finish the quest. Yeah, we did. We didn't talk about the, uh, we didn't give the actual requirements, and we didn't talk about the rewards at all. All right, fine. You want to go through that? I'll go through the requirements. So there's only one quest requirement, and that quest is missing presumed dead. Now, I don't, I think this is like a lower level quest, because I don't even remember it. It just came out. It, like it's few, actually, weeks ago. yeah, it's a novice quest. So... It's there are really like no quest requirements and skills you need 67 summoning, 73 agility, 75 divination, 76 slayer and 79 magic. Uh, I can see not many people having those if you don't play a lot, just because not many people get agility off of slayer to 76, but uh, not terribly high requirements. As for the rewards, upon completing this quest, you'll receive two quest points, 125k magic experience, 100k divination experience, 100k slayer experience, 75k agility experience, 50k summoning experience, a survivor's lamp, which grants 75k experience in a chosen combat skill, uh, excluding prayer or summoning, up to three times, a large prismatic lamp, a shard of Zaros, which doesn't sound like anything good, 
but then I read it, and for all of you who can't afford any of the uh, next equipment, which includes me, it, it provides grants, protection. Yeah, it grants protection from all factions in, in the God Wars dungeon. That's really useful. Yeah. Uh, uh, shadow, I didn't do the Shadow Shade in the Permanent view of the Shadow Realm by visit, visiting the Empyrean Citadel and leaving. I didn't do this. You need to do the Shadow Sword mini quest to do that. Uh, and then there's like other things that you can do past that. You get cosmetic overrides. I think you get a title. Uh, you can get another 50k divination experience. Yeah. Okay. Um, did, you say, did you say Shadow Realm before? Yeah, yeah that's what it's called. I can't, like, hear that without, like, thinking Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Same. Okay, you want to move on now? Uh, I mean, yeah. All right. The Archer Ring glitch. Didn't hear about this one. Um, it was all over Reddit, and was I this, saw YouTube videos on it. Notes? What? What's the glitch? Um, so secretly, uh, Jagex has been refunding players that have lost their items due to an error on Jagex part, such as disconnecting and dying to a boss, or just dying in general because of server lag. Wow, where's my fury and everything else I lost? Was it due to a disconnection? Yes. They had they had a running forum post where if you posted what you lost and it, they could somehow prove like, that you lost it, they would refund your items. This was probably like a year ago when I was poor and I cared about a fury. Yeah. No, no, this was back when a fury was expensive, so I was really pissed when I lost it. Anyway, uh, they refunded a player, his archer ring, but they gave him a little bit too much. They gave him about 6.9 million too many. And... They were close. Only slightly off. <laughs> so they were just pumped... They were just pumped into the GE. This guy, instead of being the correct, politically correct person and, and stating Jagex error, he's like, hey, guess what? I'm going to try and sell these all at once. Did 6.9 million? Yeah, there was about 7 million that, that were given to him. God. I, that's how many I've heard. It, it might be more because I've seen people with like 5,000 of them. Was it only him, or was it, like, other people, too? It was only this one player, as Jagex claims. Uh, there's an official forum post that I don't have the link to right now, but I saw it when it first happened. And basically, if you exploit this glitch, you will either get banned or lose all the money that you profited from it. So, well, how, how did... How would... Use your poison. I thought it just happened to him. How could someone else exploit it? Um, well... Oh, after after the dump into the GE, they went from like 800k to at 1.5 mil 5,000 GP. Oh wow! 800 to 5k. Oh my god. So basically, any anyone who bought them for that price. Well, anyone who bought them in high quantities, knowing what they were doing. Like if you bought one and were like, holy crap, and like bought a few more, they're not going to do that. But if if you bought a, several thousand of them. You're, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, wow. But I don't even know. Like, th I'm sure. Well, they they claim they got rid of pretty much all of them. Cause how it's not possible to sell seven million rings in a time of in a period of one day before the it was exp before it was uh, exposed. Wow, I they just prob they probably got rid of about they probably got rid of about six million of them. I don't know. I just looked on the uh, forum. I just typed in Archer Ring, and every post is like selling 135. That's not even that many. Selling 500, selling 1K, selling 1.4K, selling 1K Archer Ring. Exactly. There, there's just so many. Oh my god. So yeah, I bought one. I bought one knowing that the price was low. I got it for like 280K, and I thought that was really good because I selling. Saved I saved like 100k archer rings. Yeah. So I don't know. I I wouldn't post on the forums about that if I were them. But I guess if there's that many people doing it, 
they really can't ban that many accounts because that's how they make their money. So. Oh my god. Yeah. That's crazy. We're gonna we're gonna have some black market stuff like people selling them, but not through the Grand Exchange. Th that's how it is. Um, I was watching a YouTuber. He bought like five thousand, but it was through a trade. Like every everything, it's like third age items or party hats. Like it has to be back back market, uh, black <laughs> black market back alley trading. So that is at first. Uh, people, I, I will. I will tell you something though. First of all, how the hell do you do that? How are you like, oh yeah, well we'll just like refund him one. Oh, I accidentally typed seven million by mistake. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how that happens. Like I don't know if they type in a number, because I mean I don't know how that works. Uh, I'm assuming it's something like that. I mean when private when I've played private servers to spawn items, all you did was the item code and then the item amount. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's a similar. Yeah, yeah. Well, what might have what might have happened is he might have he might have needed to get seven of them back, and they accidentally hit an M after the seven. That just you know, because I know that if you type into the Grand Exchange like seven M, it comes up as seven mil. Like they have that in the coding. Possibly. Already. So that could be. Yeah, seven mil is just an estimate. I I they're not they didn't release the exact amount. But that's the highest uh, quantity that I've heard, so I'm just going to go with that. I love this guy's post. The, th the things just kept buying for 25k each yesterday, so I wanted a stack of 100,000 of them. But now I'm bored with it, so I must sell them for 250k each. Yeah. Yep, that's a good way to get around getting banned. Oops, I accidentally merged them. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, whatever. I was whoever, bored, so I whoever this. whatever Jagex moderator did that, uh, you don't have a job anymore. Wow. Yeah, it's a fault on both parties. But I well what what would you what would you have done? This is I would, pretty, well, I mean if the guy had gotten that many, they'd be like, Oh thank you. Here's like two treasure keys and like two hundred rune coins for our mistakes. Uh, actually, I think I'd rather take the three stacks of max max cash, but, uh, thanks anyway. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be stupid enough to just go and sell them on the Grand Exchange. Uh, I would, I don't know, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably be like, holy crap, try to sell, like, a thousand of them, and just keep the others as keepsakes. Just, like, like insurance. I would have, I would have tried to, like, slowly get rid of them. Yeah. Instead of like, oh, I have seven million, dump. Idiot. I, I mean, just think about that. I mean, if you like, they're if they were eight hundred k a piece, like if you just sold even like even like one or even even if you sold like five a day, like that's a good amount of free money. Five a day. No, I, five a day. No, I would sell. I would sell probably sixty a day. Max. Wait, wait, five a day. That would. <laughs> I'm not saying that it would. Dylan, that would take you. Quick. I'm just one, saying it would 1, be. One million four hundred thousand days. <laughs> or, or I would have been like, <laughs> all right. I would have. I would. I'd say over the course of a year, I would. I would. All right, fine. Let's let, let's let's take a look. How many you would have need need to sell a day? I'm doing that right now. You would need to holy. Oh my god, you need to sell 19,000 a day. What are you doing? No, you'll have to sell 26,000. Oh. <laughs> 26,000, 20, 26 and a half thousand of them a day. Yeah, to get that's rid of a lot. I, I would probably try to... I would have, honestly, I would have been like... I would have just done it like backdoor stuff. Black market. I wouldn't have tried to get the because I would have realized, oh wow, I'm already gonna get mad amounts of money from this, so I'm not gonna be like, I need to get more money than I can. Actually, I would. I, I would have been like, I would have been, I would have went to like, found like a merch clan, and would have been like, hey, I have all these things. I'll sell them to you for 500k each. 
Um, I I don't know. Like, I've never had this much money where I had this problem. But can I know you can't buy a certain amount of items over max cash. Can you sell a certain amount of items over max cash? Because at that rate, you'd only be able to sell 2700 at a time. I, what I would have done is I would have taken them and I would have traded them for some rare, some like party hat or something. Because that way you're getting rid of tons and tons of them at a time. If you could find someone stupid enough to trade for, that, that's like the people Archer. that like do the needles thing. No, well, that was back on, during free people trade. Do, people do spirit shards. Yeah, I mean before free trade came back. Yeah, junk trading was very popular. I mean, people still kind of do it for rares. Uh, they they would like for a blue party hat. Let's say they'll give you like. Um, Max cash and then like a a whole okay. bunch of spirit shards. Yeah. Yep. Weird. Because blue party hats and Christmas crackers and I think even white party hats now are over max cash. It's so stupid. I actually like Ryan's idea. I totally would have treated them for a the party hat set. Hey, even if it wasn't a party hat, just some sort of wear. Just you're getting. You would have traded all seven mil of them for a party hat set. Uh, at that point, yes. If you could find someone to do that, yes, I would do that. Because if you had that many and you were smart, you would know that their value by the time you sold them all would go down to less than one GP each. They would just drop so much. Hold on, let let me just put that. If they all sold at eight hundred k, it would be. Uh. That's a hundred, hundred thousand, million, five point six bill. That's uh, that's that's know, that's a little over two two piles of max cash. How many party hats are there? Oh, so that's only like two party hats. Yeah, I guess. Wait, am no, I, that's am I no, that's probably numbers like wrong? One, depending two, on the, three, depending four, on the party five, hat. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven zeros. No, that's probably around right. Like yeah, no, that to, is right. Five point six bill. Two to three party hats. Yeah, three party hats. Or yeah, or like four cheap ones. I'd get. Uh, I'd probably get two party hats and then like uh, Halloween masks and stuff like that. Just. Because having items like that, like, I don't think that's as good. Values as only go up with those. Yeah, rares values only go up. Yeah, and it's not like... In general, like, they seven... go up and down, but in general, their their curve is increasing. Yeah, and you don't have 7 mil worth of, uh, <laughs> freaking... No, it's just 7 mil archer's range. That's, dude, they're never going to catch you. Yeah, that, that's just crazy. I, w- I would have settled for two blue party hats. So that's settling, isn't it? <laughs> that's more than settling. No, I, I, I think I would have wanted at least a pile of max cash. That's That would just be so nice. Like, you can do so much with max cash. So much. So I would... I'd get a blue party gonna... hat and sell it for max cash. Yeah, no, they're not... worth more than max cash. That'd be stupid if you sold it for max cash. All right, then I sell it for more than max cash. Sell it for what it's worth. You're not going to find. My point is, there's no way I would have put those in the grand exchange. No, that would just be stupid. Not all at once. But think about it. You, you, you see all these. Okay, just clear your mind of what happened. There's, there's no. You don't know what happened. You don't know what happens when this happens. You just see seven million archer rings in your bank. What do you do? I got seven million archer rings. What do you do? I, I think I would have said something to you. And then you would have put in my mind that they're going to just crash. You wouldn't have thought that they were just going to crash, dude? I'm a very impulsive person. Have you seen my Mustang? Oops. Seriously, I was like, I want a Mustang. Oh, that one didn't work out. Um, I'll buy oh, this yeah. Anyway. You, I remember when you were buying it, you were like, dude, I need that I was that like, well, I was already going to come home with one today. I might as well come home with one today. You were, no, you were like... Uh, let's see what happened. I'm like, I, I'm going to get the Roush. I'm going to get the Roush. I'm going to get the Roush. Oh, I need to wait a week. Okay, I'll buy this one instead. <laughs> no, 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 it was worse than that. You were like, I don't even want to go see this one because I only want the Roush. 
Go to see it. Oh, I bought it. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's exactly it. Not that it's a bad thing. I mean, your Mustang's nice, but, uh, like, you just, like, jumped on that so fast. I No, that's why I'm saying I wouldn't have thought of that. I'm such an impulsive person. No, I think you would have dumped them in the Grand Exchange, then said, dude, I got seven million archer rings. What should I do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> just, like, straight, straight. Be like, like, first, shit. I'd like, say, first, get them out of that freaking Grand Exchange. First, I would wake myself up. From the Second, game. trade half of them to me. Third. <laughs> <laughs> third. third. Profit. Um, no, actually, I'd say third, give them all to me. So that, that they wouldn't oh. have... No, because they wouldn't know who oh, has them. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Because why would they look in... I, I They can track your trading, actually. I can't do that. Uh, if they if can you... do that, I don't know what I would do. They can track it, because I know that when uh when they implemented the bot... Of course, wait, of course yeah. they could track it. That's how they used to ban scammers. Yeah. All right, then I'd say, third, here's all your stuff back. I don't want to get involved. And then <laughs> I just, yeah. I don't. Okay, this is. I so would just try and trade. I don't know what to do. I'll just, I'll just drop them all. No, I. Else deal with no, it. Honestly, no, no, you're better off just telling Jagex at that. Point. Honestly, I'd probably say Jagex. Do you realize you gave me five million archer rings? <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, "Wow, it's so cool!" Here's like five rune coins, and they'd be like, "Ha, ah, suckers! Here's I still have two million five rune coins." Five... <laughs> Sounds about right. It's like Jagex, what the heck? You gave me one million archer rings, and like I'm like holding behind my back the other six million. <laughs> No, I I I like I let they like, try to email them. I'll be like Jagex. I have the power. I'd email them from like uh, an account that like wasn't linked to my account and be like, "Listen, this is what happened. This is what I have in my power to do. Can no, I have they... unlimited free access to the to Solomon's general store?" They would say, um, "I have unlimited access to your account. They're all gone. But thanks for they the, would thanks say... for the." <laughs> We can no, no, that's why I said not linked to that account. They would say we could track everybody who we gave stuff back to and find it. They would find it eventually. They would find it. They just like they did for this situation. They, they found the person. No I don't know what they did with the person, but it probably wasn't good. No. I mean, it's not his fault that he came upon all of them, but it is his fault. Yeah, that he, if he innocently thought, like, oh, wow, Jagrix was nice to me. Like, he could probably argue that he didn't know what was going on and win that argument. Because there's no way to prove that he maliciously had it in his mind to profit off of their error. I mean, that's a little bit more than just being nice. Being nice is like, oh, here's two mil. <laughs> that's like, do you want to play this game anymore? You just want everything. I know we're acting like two two piles of max cash is a lot, but then there's players that have like... like I. People are crazy. They have to carry. They have to carry it in their inventory at all time. That's how many they have. They have one in the bank, one in their cash pouch. No, they have. They have n nine. One in the bank, one in the cash pouch, one in their inventory, and then six in their GE slots. Stop playing RuneScape at that point, please. Those are all the people who uh, are in like the smoking mills clan and merch all the time. And like, they have to have separate accounts to hold their money. When it comes to that point, like, stop doing? playing. Sorry, You're just ruining thing. it. They were also the uh, the big gamblers. I know, like, once you get one pile of max cash and you get lucky, you can easily get a second pile if you win a bet. You win a bet. It's like, I bet you my max cash for your max cash. You win a you bet, you double it. your money. You can lose it just as easily. You can though. lose it just as easily, but you can double it, too. And if you happen to win, if like, you just made... All right, you didn't just get a pile of max cash. You just spent your life earning this pile of max cash because you don't boss. Like, we go once in a while, but that's it. And that's the real way to make money. You just spent your life getting a pile of max cash. Are you going to risk it all to double it? Nightmare RH bet one bill and won. Nightmare RH is rich. That was all of his money, besides his items. Besides his items, what was his items? He had like a red party. He had a party at set. He didn't, he didn't have, have a set. set. 
I don't think yeah. There's a red party hat and like the third age mage. Third thing. age mage. You always got that dragon hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like even if I was just given a stack of max dash, I wouldn't risk it just to make another stack of max dash. I'd rather have what I have. Let's think of it. Th think about this in real life. You find a briefcase filled with, uh, let's say, three hundred thousand dollars. Do I try to find the owner? No. What no, do you no. do? Do you try and double it and have a chance that you this equal amount of chance? It's not even like odds are in your favor. An equal chance to double it or to lose it. You try to get six hundred thousand dollars or settle for three hundred thousand. I would settle. I, am, am I? In, I am. At, am I at this age in my life? Uh, yes. yeah. Or am I like older no, this and is, I already let, have this? Is you walk out your door right you now? You see in the middle of the street, um, an unlocked briefcase. You open it and you find three hundred thousand dollars. I'm uh, three hundred thousand dollars richer. What would you do with it, Luke? I would I would bring it to the police, honestly, because it's probably somebody's money that got it illegally. Who stores their money in a briefcase? I mean, I'd keep it. I guess I would. I would, you I think would say, find you uh, though. Cops! I found two hundred thousand dollars in the street. No, see, the problem is <laughs> now you have three hundred thousand dollars. You can't just go and like spend it. Cause they're gonna. No, I'd say, cops! I found two hundred thousand. And like hold the other hundred thousand behind the back. Kidding me? I just go buy a freaking Lambo. There you uh, go. There's uh, your money. I, uh, like two knock, five. knock, knock. Excuse what? me, sir. Where did you come across like from? Door? Or would you buy like a Merce, a Murcielago? They uh. I I, no, hold on, it. Ryan. I'm, I I don't think if if you went up to like a dealership, whatever, and we're like, I'm gonna buy this with cash. Just don't like. Like all right, all the signing and now, stuff is for like when you um when you take out loans and stuff on it, isn't it? Like, uh, if, what I'm, about when you register it at the DMV? Uh, <laughs> what about car insurance? Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd buy a Lambo, oh. but I might go. To, like, I would buy something on Craigslist. You'd buy a Lambo on Craig. You'd buy the Countach that they destroyed in um. <laughs> no, I'd probably buy a. a I would. A not I would buy new, a nice car. A slightly a nice used exotic car. Like I'd probably buy like a used 911 or a, or like an an old Ferrari or an old uh depending on what I found. I'd buy one I'd buy like a 10 year to 10 to 20 year old exotic car. Speaking of which, Ryan, um the uh, Lamborghini Countach from uh, Wolf of Wall Street that they destroyed. Yeah. yeah, they actually did that. That wasn't a replica. They that, actually did that. And it was a Lamborghini, right? It was a Lamborghini Countach. Yeah. They said it was a Ferrari in that movie. It, it was well, a Ferrari in the switched, beginning. They switched did they the switch cars. the car? Okay. It was a Ferrari F12 um, something. 512. For, yeah. Ferrari 512. That's... Why would... Why would but I was like, reading about it, and only like 650 of them were made, and then they destroyed it for the movie. That's so stupid. Testarossa. Ferrari 512 Testarossa. So I don't know if they were trying to pass it off as the same car, or if he they just assumed that he only buys ex expensive white sports cars. I mean, if I you think if you know was, about cars, they look exactly the same. Like they look very similar. Yeah, if you don't know about cars, you're right. They do look similar. They look. I think it very was a mistake. If if they okay, if they're trying to pass it off as the same car, first of all, how did that happen? That they were just like, oh crap, we don't have the original car anymore. Well, maybe. They destroyed the uh, the first car and they messed up the scene until they had to destroy another car. Like, <laughs> oh, we can't get another one of those. This car looks close enough. <laughs> but um, this is a good RuneScape podcast. Let me tell you. There's actually a lot of pictures of them side by side. You know what? They yeah, these were probably the top two contenders in exotics at the time. If they weren't trying to pass it off as the same car, though, I think it was stupid to make them both white. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why would they have them the same color? Well, maybe he only buys white white cars. Remember in the beginning, he's like, I like the Don John style. Is he a black guy? Oh, that's racist. That's racist. We're still doing the podcast. What is he, Drake? That's funny. <laughs> what is he like? What's that song where he's walking in front of the uh, I'm walking car? Down. 
Oh, uh, start from the bottom. Yeah. I'm walking on sunshine. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it from the bottom that way. Yeah. I can't believe they actually destroyed that car. Why wouldn't they just make it? Look, like... Yeah, it looks similar. If you, yeah, if you don't, if know... you weren't, yeah, if you weren't looking out for it, you wouldn't notice all the different cars. I, whatever. All right. Uh, how's our RuneScape at? Um. <laughs> all right. This now we're up to the patches. Wait, wait, wait. What, what were we even talking about? Oh, the rings. The ring. That oh. took a good 15 minutes. Um, whoever did that, you're an idiot. Uh, Jagex, you're rid of as well. No. Everybody's an idiot. You should have given them some other. I'm <laughs> going back to it that <laughs> yeah. Everybody's stupid. All right. Uh, let's, let's move on. Yeah, all right. Oh, you want to take turns reading the patches? All right, I'll start with the graphical. Uh, the correct woodcutting animation is now played when a player chops a tree with the scorching axe override. Uh, cool. <laughs> Orbital's tower no text on the world map has been removed. There are guards, wastes, no longer stretch in combat or during death. Great. <laughs> uh, they've oh. only been around since, like, 2007. Uh, just seven. throw up or something? What the heck was uh, that? I had a hiccup burp. The A root icon in the Slayer skill advanced guide has been updated. Okay. Yeah, I, I gotta check that out. Uh, and the investigator's notebook title text is now aligned correctly. Cool. All right. Who's reading the quests? Uh, they released this quest. Who's reading the quest challenges and achievements? Do I have to? That's my job, right? A spelling error in wart face and no, no, Bandos' dialogue in Recipe for Disaster has been corrected. Bandos I mean, they could probably could have left it in and passed it off as the uh, goblins not knowing grammar. A typo in, gosh darn it, how do you pronounce that? Karsh eyes? Sure, dialogue has been fixed. And the Fremnik Achievement Diary passed, totally livid, now has the Correct requirements listed. There are a lot of achievements that don't have the correct requirements listed. I'm not going to go into that. Oh. Uh, so um, players may now toggle their public chat off. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it wasn't working uh, when they updated the chat. Yeah. I remember being at the Living Rock Cavern and stuff like that. Vandos, Armadil, and Zaros Croziers now correctly count as two-handed weapons. Yeah, they used to count as one-handed, and people would, would use it. There used to be, um, like, some sort of glitch where you could use it as a one-handed uh, weapon. I forget what it was, but now they fixed it. And now, I don't know how it works if you keep saked a Crozier, but if they switch it to two hands, I'm sure a lot of people are going to get mad if, it, if they switch the uh, override. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, so clan ava combat. clan avatars will no longer disappear when teleporting from a player-owned house. Uh, that doesn't really affect anything. You skipped one. Did I? Yeah. Croziers have had their combat stats removed and their prayer bonuses made consistent. Do they all have separate prayer bonuses? That's I guess so. That's so... Good job, Jagex. Good job. Uh, players can no longer attack the giant mole from the far side of the agility shortcuts of the chamber. It is what? in. Uh, I guess, did you ever do the giant mole? The new, yeah, the updated giant mole? Been down there since the update. I went down there. Now, like, you can go from, like, uh, little cave to cave by squeezing through agility shortcuts, and I guess you could mage it, um, Inside of it. Okay. from through the shortcut. Silly Jagex. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> it will all, the giant mole will now also correctly advance the fight when a familiar deals the most damage to it. Hmm. A punctuation error in the dialogue for the Guardian Mummy from Pyramid Plunder has been fixed. How did they find that? They probably had it. Like, an exclamation point! It's like, I am so sad! 
I'm so, <laughs> I'm so angry. There was definitely just a comma. I'm there. so period sad. Ha. Huh? Frank, no. Why are you Frank, calling? Frank, stop calling. So we all Duncan, the sports navigator now takes the player to the correct inf- interface when discussing forgotten scrolls. Thanks, Duncan. Good job, Duncan. Uh, oh, we'll go into that later, I guess. Um, the duplicated confirm option in Yars. Ursa. Shoe Ursa. Your Yars shoe shop, Ursa. shop has been fixed. Ursa. Duplicated confirm option. What would <laughs> confirm or confirm? Would you like to uh, confirm or confirm, uh, please? Um, no. Not, Not an option. <laughs> All right. Uh, lightning stabs no longer have an attack requirement as they cannot be used in the next I don't even know what a lightning stab What's is. A lightning stab? Is that like a Solomon thing? Um, no. They wouldn't no, have a requirement. A, yeah. Oh. So I don't know what a lightning stab is. Oh, I do know what a lightning staff is. It's the one from the gods, the the, the wilderness, the god ones. The wilderness, the god. In the one. yeah, mage arena. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you can use uh, store. Uh, not yeah. storm. What yeah. the heck is it called? Storm. No, it's not storm. It's, um, I don't know what it's called. Oh, I know. I got it. It's not here. I don't remember. All right, um, let's move on. The an issue with the borrowed power spell, requiring the player to carry excess runes to cast high level alchemy, has been corrected. They I guess they charged you. You had to have more than you needed to do it, so that's good. Enemies in the God Wars dungeon no longer stay at zero life points when without dying. When they drop war priest, war priest armor. Oh, um, what? I didn't know that was a glitch. Enemies in God Wars no longer stay at zero life points without dying on the drop of war priest. I, I got a thing of from war. I got, I got a. Yeah, thing I don't of, remember that either. I got, I got the armadal body thing. Yeah, the curse. Yeah, I got it. I got that too. Uh. A selection of clan keywords have been added based upon player requests. Hmm. Player requests. Yeah, clans are uh, a big thing. And we don't do them. Yep. Ninja fixes. Oh, I have Kill this. It. I have this aura. Dark magic aura. Yeah, it literally did nothing. It was like the knockout aura. It was like, oh, has a chance <laughs> to has a chance to cause a poison or bleeding. Uh, it, is it like a and it, it never, ever had that effect, ever. So, but, I mean, by the time... I mean, I've had 99 Mage now, so it I, it was such a waste of me buying it. The, uh... Something that's kind of cool that's very similar to that is that Dragon Rider amulet actually has an extremely small chance to cause a bleed effect very similar to Combust. Hmm. Dreadnips can now run. Run! Maybe we'll have, Yay, we'll have right. Dreadnip Race. I mean, you can only use them if you're standing right next to the boss. I don't know why they'd have to run. Come on, run with me. I mean, they don't last at all. Do anyway. they only work with bosses? I I guess you could use it on anything you could fight. I'll try it right now. I can have to fight this spider. I don't even know what they do. Like, how do you get them? Uh, Dominion Tower. Oh, okay. It's not fun. Um, let's go to the next one. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get the one. elements in the featured tab are now spread evenly within the interface to look more aesthetically pleasing. Featured? I don't even... Is that Solomon's Thor? What's a, what's featured? Solomon's Thor. Here, come, here I come, spider. Going down. The familiar Second. buff timer now yeah. updates after renewing a... First oh, look at him go. Look, he's going to run. Oh, he killed it already. Instead of waiting for the original one to expire. Mm. Um, so yes, Dreadnips can be used on anything you can fight. Cooler. Light. They're pretty powerful. Dylan, you've been very talkative. I'm talking. I mean, you said something just now. 
I'm what have you been up to? Me? Only the most. No, most we're not there ever. yet. We're not there. Oh. Chaos Gauntlets now give a 10% damage boost to bolt spells when worn. That's from the family oh, that's... crest quest, I'm pretty sure. No, they're... That's from Elemental Workshop. Aren't they Chaos Gauntlets? Are they Elemental Workshop 4? Yeah. Oh, I've never done that quest. Don't. Don't ever do it. Only quest I've ever done was... Stay golden. Only quest I've ever done was the Chef's that's Rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> Chef's, God, rebellion. Chef's Rebellion. Chef's <laughs> Rebellion. Oh man, if you want to get that reference, listen to every podcast we've ever recorded. Wasn't it the first one? Probably. I don't remember. First or second, one of them. Oh man, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm not cooking for you anymore. Oh gosh. I gotta convince him to cook. There is now a warning message before sending a scroll mission in a player on port when a player already owns all four pieces. I didn't even know no, you could get even... a... Yeah, no, I knew you could do that. You... I didn't know that it actually let you send out that mission. I didn't know you could um, get a... I've never... I've always immediately switched mine to a new scroll. So I, I didn't even know you could get another scroll mission. Yeah, no, you can. I don't get why anybody would be stupid enough to do that. Well, maybe I mean, they don't know how many they've had. Maybe they've taken a hiatus. They come back, they see a scroll mission. They want to do it. it. I mean, even if, like, say you just completed this thing and, you, like, you forgot to, uh, like, switch your thing, and you get a scroll mission the next day, it's for the scroll you've already completed. If you just switch what scroll you're going for, that mission automatically switches with it. <laughs> so, like, it's not even, like... You can't send out that mission. You can send out that mission for another scroll. It, that's so stupid. Yeah, now they have a warning message. So. That is a warning message. Why would they put a warning message? Just don't let you do it. That's so stupid. I want to do it anyways. I guess if I mean, you, you have... You still get experience for your crew. If you have all of them. Whatever. Um, it is now the possible big... to enable and disable audio settings using keybinds. You skipped one again. Pets can Whoa. no longer take it to the big Chinchampa minigame. <laughs> Players can now home teleport to various low stones by using keybinds. That's the one we spoke about in the beginning. Does it actually work? I'm gonna try. Control T. No, you you just press you just press T and then you do the 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 second button. So you press T to open the the low stone network and then you press um like let's say you want to go to Edgeville, you press E. You want to go to Karamja, you press K. Well, like it's I don't know what it is for me because I have T actually set for one of my key binds. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what it is for you, but T is the uh, the default for teleport. Oh no, that's so cool! I just <sighs> I <can> get... <laughs> oh no, it's so cool. Each each lodestone has its own. Uh, default keybind and since I have some of them set it's just it's the same key except I just have to hit control before it or alt I well I mean I have the alt ones too for for like since Tehran starts with a T and so does Taverly Taverly is a T keybind and then Tehran is the alt T same thing for Canifus um, Catherby is the C and Canifus is the alt C uh, from the province is Alt F, while Falador is just F. Yeah, I gotta remember some of these. A, can I use A? Control A. Control C. And Sears Village is, and that's those village. R, RD. RD is Alt A, while uh, the other A is, uh, Alcarid is just A. Uh, that's a cool update. I like yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna learn It's though. probably gonna save maybe point zero 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 seconds. It might save me a couple seconds because the only one I'm ever going to use is B. That's the only one I'm ever going to learn. Yeah, you go to Berthorpe to, to get the runes out to teleport somewhere. Yeah, pretty much. No, I use the home teleports when farming. They're very useful. They're actually closer than the teleports that you would use. The only one I use while farming is the Ardoin. Yeah, Ar Ardy is closer. Catherby's closer. Catherby's closer, but the time it takes... 
I feel like the time it takes from teleporting and then just running there is longer than the time it takes from load stone and then running. I don't know. I feel like I, it's the same, so I just the say one, the one for Artie is actually yeah. Artie is actually closer. It's actually shorter. And I mean for the for the Karamja tree tree and yeah, Calvary, I use, use that. that. I use and, it when I do the when I I guess you're right with that when I'm doing the farming. The, yeah, uh, like and also like, tree runs. Your inventory is pretty full, so to save inventory spaces is very is very useful. Yeah. Like for tree runs, I have like. Like six or seven spots open because I just have I need to have like stuff to make sure yeah, to keep it and all that. You so have all your trees and all of your uh, things to pay the farmers. Exactly. Alright, that's a cool update. All right, and last one, bane ammo has been made more effective against the specific targets. So things that are weak to bane at uh, bane weapons and ammo um, are now actually have their uh, damage increased so nobody that's really just dragons nobody uses bane equipment it's uh what is it i know abyssal demons there's a, a abyssal bane I can look yeah they're up. they're yeah they're strong against i'll look them up yeah well nobody uses them because the way you have to make them is you have to do i believe it's the tool of the majorat to be able to make them yeah, it is. You have to go to the uh, Gla I think Glacier Cave or somewhere very close to there. You need to mine this ore. Then you need to like use a spell to purify it or something. Right. Then you need to smelt it. Then you need to take those bars, which are untradeable, like out to this remote location that you go to during the quest to smith these bolts. It's just such a hassle. Yeah, it's not worth it. That it's not worth it. Yeah, so here are the things that are weak to them. Abyssal demons are weak to abyssal bane. Basilisks are worse, are uh, weak to basilisk bane. Dragons are are weak to dragon bane, and Wallasalki are weak to Wallasalki bane. Wallasalki aren't those the uh, the seals? Yes, <laughs> the the <laughs> walrus, the walry. Oh, okay. <laughs> those things are so stupid. Get it, Wallasalki, Walrus, Salki, Wanahagaluki. Wanahagaluki. Got him. What's that from? What's it from? No idea. Uh, Come on. It's, reference. it's from a reference. You don't know about Mount Wanahagaluki? No. That's actually a thing. It's from uh, Finding Nemo. Is it really? Yeah. What part? <laughs> I don't know, the, the puffer fish uh, is referring to, like, the... And we must take him to Mount Wanahakalugi. Mount Wanahakalugi. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh, so that's that's it for updates it, this AI. week. Um, We actually made it to an hour, because we spent about 20 minutes talking about those archer rings. So, so Joey, what have you been up to? What have you um, been up to doing? Well, I found the date of everyone's conception. Tell us about this. So uh, there's this website called uh, Poke My Birthday. And uh, you can enter your birth date, and it gives you the approximate date of your conception. Now, Ryan, Ryan I'm you're, yours is interesting I'm, because... I'm a special baby. Yours is, yours, Do you actually know uh, when mine is? Your, yeah, your approximate conception is... Um, December 23rd. Now, that's not right. That's approximate, so it could be December 25th. But so, it's not you're, true. most likely your I parents would do it do on the Christmas. Nah, you want to know when it was? It was, uh, you New know? Year's. It was New Year's. Yeah, I know. Wow. My mom was like, your father like wasn't really too up for it, and we got a bottle of wine. And happy New Year's. How did that happen? Did you, like, get your mom drunk, say, Mom, how was I conceived? No, it was when my mom was uh, mad, huh? at my, my, mad at my dad. So she was, like, trying to say something to me to make me mad at him, too. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, well, your dad didn't want to have sex with me. Yeah. <laughs> that's what but it sounds that's, like. That's not right. It's uh, New Year's. So, um, Luke's, um, is... July 5th, which is 
July fourth, pretty much. Hey, Luke. Happy I, yeah, I'm gonna actually. I'm actually gonna ask them tomorrow. Happy I'm gonna ask my mom. Hey. My mom says she knows when. So. What about you, Dylan? Mine was just sometime in October. My sister, however, was St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah I want to find out. That's interesting. So what? That's It said December 23rd, so it was it was about a week off for Ryan. That's not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> this girl is screaming, do you want to build a snowman as she gets a spin- splinter removed? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, is, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this podcast on an on a up note. Um, I've been getting a lot of levels, um, just grinding them out, trying to study for things that I'm doing in school. Just a lot of stuff going on. Um, Dang. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of Ultimate Frisbee being played. Uh, a lot of chicks getting ignored. So, that's, uh, yeah. A lot of Ultimate not, Frisbee not being true. played, a lot of chicks getting laid. You know, a lot of if, tindering. Even if it's not you, I'm sure there are a lot so of So much tinder. Out. I'm yelling Timber. I'm yelling Tinder. Tinder. Timber, it's coming. So um, that's <laughs> episode six, Free for Members podcast. Um, we'll come back next week, and hopefully we'll have a lot more to talk about. Hopefully people um, I've been your host, LJP. You've been a peach. Great talking to you. See ya.
Did you get the dang and get the dog? Son of my life, silence goes off. Choking I'm picking a lot of really speak English. Choking on the brows of thongs. Timber, face down, booty up. Timber. I like that. That's where that verb And it's about to go down. Swing your partner okay, round and round. Into the night, it's going down. One more shot, another round. Into the night, it's going down. Swing your partner round and round. End of the night, it's going down. One more shot, another round. End of the night, it's going down. It's going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. Ow, that actually.